Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex day trade setups for today. So uh, we do have a fairly clear break of the uh, trend line on Euro USD. We are grouping to the downside on the um, oscillators, so there is potential that we are kind of looking for bottom of a range, and that's the top of the range that's just starting to form. So that's kind of the one thing we do have. Uh, what's looking like a bearish crossover of the moving averages now in the 8 hour as well. So uh, lots going on here. We do have non-farm payrolls today. So I would suspect we are looking for a retest of this trend line. And we did get it yesterday. You can see there. Uh, we got the trend line retest and then we bounced off it. But I would argue we'd probably be looking at one of two things. A move back into 098125 uh, or alternatively 098548 uh, for a rejection there for continuation to downside but again this depends on non-farm payroll so i am sitting quietly in my corner still uh, just waiting for the data to come out before jumping back into um, this and it's looking like it's going to be another leg to the downside uh, us dollar japanese yen all over the place at the moment so it did look like we were going to reverse uh, and then we, we sort of bounce the upside. But uh, just looking at the eight hour, you can see lots of tails here, lots of buyers coming in still. So I have a feeling the, re not recovery, but um, a feeling that the dollar is going to continue on upwards. This is just some form of a consolidation. So if we just drop back down to the hour, you can see how messy it's been this week. Really volatile with all the noise. And we've got more noise coming out today. So I am clearly sitting on hands. But one thing is for sure. If we maintain pretty much this zone down here at 147.159. If I uh, wouldn't be surprised if the price come all the way down here and bounce. But if we can maintain support here, that would validate a range. And alternatively, if we can get above 148.180, and stay above that through the day and then when the data comes out it's a uh, negative data you're going to see this thing rocket ship to the upside which will basically get us back in for some decent longs yeah but we need to wait for the data this afternoon so um, let's sit on hands until that happens moving on to the pound and um, pound got a bit of a hiding yesterday but just based on uh, the, the the british central banks just uh, raising interest rates the highest that they've ever raised them in the last 33 years and the market just panicked a little bit so that's kind of what happened here i'm still seeing us coming off support at the moment this looks like a bit of an exhaustion bar look at my oscillators look at my diversions I've got a double bottom here so i'm expecting this just to range um, that's kind of the view that i've got here so uh, you'll see on the oscillators it's looking like a little bit of a move to the upside and then a pullback but for me to be looking for shorts it's going to have to be somewhere in this region a retest of the 155 ema which is 168778 so that's kind of the one area and then the other area would be these swing lows here and you can see there's a, a small little fractal here so it could be 167618 and i'm just going to use that one there or a pullback to 167.869. So definitely don't want to be jumping in down here. It's a little bit too risky. It's probably just going to taper out here at 164.987. So pull back into these higher zones. Definitely an opportunity to be looking for a short. And you'll see there will be a trend line there that intersects with that as well. So that is the most logical area for me. Um, moving on to Euro British Pound, and you can see we had a pretty strong bounce off this zone. Uh, oscillator is getting a little bit uh, oversold at the moment. So uh, what we'd be looking for here, if this is going to continue, I want to see a pullback onto some structure. And uh, there is some fairly decent structure fairly close to where price is. So uh, sorry, let's just do that. So inside this zone is quite a bit of structure. So what we're looking for is... Uh, 087 uh, 000 and then we are looking for uh, 086792 so if we can get support of these areas definitely another opportunity to be long 
have a look at the oscillators separating quite nicely with diversions here as well so that's definitely what we'd be looking for here this is well worth um, a trade of all the forex pairs at the moment i think this is the best setup right now and uh, it is basically because we've been battling with this downward trend and then you know we sort of tried to break up came up now we've crossed over on the weekly here and this is looking like a retest of the 155 for support so from a weekly perspective it's looking to target these previous highs here okay anyway that's kind of my view today this one is definitely a 15 minute uh, chart to be watching during the european open and uh, any supports that you see here as soon as you see inside bars engulfing bars or pin bars on that it is well worth taking the chance and getting in for a long here anyway that's it for me hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you on monday morning cheers for now